Why are California gangs so violent? Does it start with our prison system? To what goes on the streets of our communities in terms of gang lifestyles orchestrated from inside the walls of various prisons because there's so much control over what is happening with gang activity and it's being controlled from the inside. So extremely dangerous, very difficult to get somebody out of that lifestyle. California is different from anywhere else. Here, the inside controls the outside. No matter what gang you are from on the streets, no matter how tough you were outside of the walls, once you enter the system, you're going to get in line like everybody else. Nobody is bigger than the program, no matter who you think you are. Some subset of prisoners who are just so utterly and unredeemably antisocial that they'll do anything they can to hurt you. Are you going to get assaulted? Yes. You will. What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. <laughs> Lately, I've been seeing in the comments that there are people, obviously, from, not, from out of state, not from California, and they've been leaving this specific comment. I don't know if it's the same dude with different accounts. I don't know if it's different people. But today, we're going we're gonna to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it and you guys will have the comment section to say what you got to say. The thing that they've been saying is this. You guys out in California. Let a handful of old men in prison. Dictate your program on the streets. So. Let's talk about it. Almost, almost a hundred years ago, allegedly, organizations were formed within the California Department of Corrections. And when these organizations were allegedly formed, they were formed from the cream of the crop. Barrios up and down the state. The baddest dudes from each one who proved themselves within those walls where there weren't guns, where they, they, they didn't have 10 dudes to go with them to jump on one dude. No, where mano y mano, knife to knife, they performed extremely serious acts to garner the respect of those that they chose to run around with. Okay. Allegedly, this happened almost 100 years ago. No other states like us. I'm not putting down any state, but you need to understand California is organized. You see, when people say, oh, a handful of old men in prison, you definitely have it mixed up when you talk about old men. Do you think the guys that started it are the only guys around? New blood is added to the mix all the time. Am I justifying this? No, I'm not. But I'm telling you that in California, it's true. The inside controls the outside. You know, I watch these crime shows now and then. Um, crime 360 or whatever it's called. First 48. You know, and I, I just actually watched last night. And they were in a prison in Tennessee. Shout out to Tennessee. And Tennessee is not the only one, so please don't think I'm I'm picking you guys out. But there were some gang fights going on in the prison. And the gang investigators 
prison investigators were trying to solve the crimes. One of the dudes they pulled in, and he supposedly he's a bad motherfucker. And they said he's a rapist. You see, those are the things that are, that separate. This is one of the things that separates California from everybody else. This dude can be a rapist or a dude can be a child molester and he can live amongst everyone else. Sell dope even. Have stuff in his cell. Have stuff in his locker. Go to visit. Feel comfortable. Smile. Bet people. And actually get paid. California is not allowing that. You know. I hear people say how. Oh California soft now. No California is. Look I went in in 1993. When gang banging was. Bonkers. In California, everywhere in California, gang banging was completely nuts when I got out in 93 and went back for life in 1993, right? I got out in 2017, and one thing that I noticed, that a lot of dudes, a lot of areas that used to have a lot of high gang activity, they were getting money. People are still getting smoked, but people understood. Dead bodies are bad for business. See, a lot of kids don't understand. Like, like I had somebody ask something in the, in, the, in the comment section, and they said, how come a gangster, how come gangsters are homeless and die broke? And they mentioned a very high-profile crip. I'm not going to say his name. And they said he, he was a gangster, and he died broke and homeless. I'm not going to say the guy's name because I don't want people to think I'm being disrespectful, but people need to understand the complete difference between a gangster and a gangbanger. A gangbanger thinks killing people is important. A gangster knows the money's more important. So when I got out in 2017 and I saw that there was a shift in, 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 in thinking yeah, people are going to get smoked if they get in the way of the money priority. And I see, I look at Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. There's a lot of things going on over there that's unfortunate. There's a lot of killings. And I honestly look at Chicago and I say, damn, Chicago reminds me of the way LA was in the 80s and 90s. You know, I had Sellies from South Central. That would tell me about running gunfights, 20, 30 minute running gunfights, car chase gunfights, broad daylight in South Central in the late 80s, early 90s. They were like, cops were not showing up. They ain't showing up to that type of shit. They, they wait until there's a grip of cops showing up. California ain't like that no more. But getting back to the topic and the subject at hand. It's absolutely true that as far as raza, I, I can't speak for the blacks, but I know whether you're in Northern California or Southern California, it is true. It does not matter how bad of a motherfucker you are in your neighborhood on the streets. When you get to prison, you're going to get in line. And. There are a lot of things that have changed. Neighborhoods are more peaceful now. You can say, I'm going to quote, air quote that, peaceful. Because of the parameters put in place. Let's just, let's just say it that way. You know, you look at these other cities and these other states, man. And people are going buck wild. And... If you are from one of those states and you talk about how California is being bullied by dudes in prison, look around you, where you're living, where you're criming it. 
In California, you are not allowed to target kids. If you're a grown ass man and you go and smoke a kid, you're going to have a problem. In these other states, I hear about it. It, it doesn't matter. If that's your rival, get them. Again, dudes can commit sex crimes in these other states with no fear of retaliation once they get incarcerated. I'm not trying to glorify what's going on or what goes on in California, but I'm trying to clarify. It is true. The inside controls the outside. And it is also true that that has lessened a lot of the violence on the streets. It has shifted focus for the most part. It has shifted focus on get that money. Killing is bad for business. Kill when you have to. Before it was kill because you just felt like it. Times have also changed. Gladly, I'm happy to say that things have changed. Times have changed where, you know, these kids nowadays, they see. There ain't no future in it. Unfortunately, there are still those that grow up in homes that are completely dysfunctional, that lack love, and then them kids go seeking love in the streets. In the family they see in the in the gang, the barrio. And then they follow down the path that a lot of us did back in the days. There's still a few. There's still, there's still people that are willing to go that extra mile to feel some type of love or adoration. Then they wind up in prison. Then sooner or later, they're like, damn, man, this shit's for the birds. But they can only say that here. Or if they have a celly they trust. That's not going to view that comment as weakness and go whisper about this. Well, I, I think this is was getting soft. But anyways, I don't want to keep going on and on and on about this. But I do know that to me, it's just a strange thing when I hear people from other states point that out. When I look and I see these other channels and i see these programs and we hear about how in those other states within those walls men are raping their own people and everybody's okay with it whereas in california the way it's structured you're not, you're you're not going to be bullying somebody else you're not going to put your hands on somebody else. And you damn sure ain't going to rape somebody and be okay. You're going to get moved on. You're going to get whacked. A lot of the rules set in place over here, you know, people with small minds like to say they're all based on racist ideologies. They're not. They're based on self-preservation and security. You can't make money out here. If California didn't have the, 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 the invisible lines, the borders, let's call them, in their areas, the territories that they hold, and people were allowed to just mingle and walk in and out, that sets you up for an attack. When you know, okay, these other, it don't matter what group it is, they can't step into this dirt. They can't step onto that handball court. They can't step onto that basketball court. As soon as you see one person do it, you assume it's on. For dudes in California, it's a completely foreign idea that, yeah, anybody can just do whatever they want without any repercussions. And, and you know, people in other states could say, Oh, well, that sounds like coward shit because over here we can do whatever we want. Yeah, and your ass can get raped in a minute too. One dude has five friends and you have none. You better have that heater on you. You better be strapped up and be willing to kill immediately then. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
I don't want to I don't want to drag this one out. I just wanted to address that. Is it a bad thing? A lot of structure has been put in place. There's an understanding of what's expected. And for the most part, it stays true. There's always going to be those situations where things are fluid. But that's usually inside, not out. What's expected outside is going to be adhered to. And, you know, me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a member of society. I'm not a criminal no more. I'm not involved in none of that shit. But I'm just clarifying for those of you that don't understand. Look around you. If you're in one of them wild-ass states where anything goes, that's why anything goes. And that's why there's a couple dudes getting money. But what you are part of as a whole, they're catching bodies, not catching bank accounts. But anyways, that's my video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.